What's up guys? Travis here with another video. I told you I'd be back to uh, show you how to wire this uh, inline fuse into um, the power wire for the Low Rance Elite TI-12, which I mean, this is what you can do with all of them. So let's get into it, okay? So what we're first going to do is we're going to strip these ends down. They already have them stripped down a little bit, but we're going to take a little bit more of this plastic off and to do that, we're going to use uh, wire strippers. So all you have to do is just take it find uh, what gauge wire it is, stick it inside here, and then we're just gonna strip off just a little bit more just to expose more of that wire. And you'll see why here in just a second. But uh, we're gonna cut these down just a little bit. Pull that off there. I'm gonna take the power cable here we're going to strip this down just a little bit more too on the power end side, on the red side, because this is the positive. So let's get a little bit more of this water off here. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to twist the end together. Alright, so we're going to twist these ends up a little bit, get them a little bit tighter here. Just all the ends that we stripped off. <clears throat> get nice and spun up here okay so what we're going to do next we're going to take power wire and we're going to take one of these butt connectors okay what you're going to just open ends put the piece of the metal in the middle here so we're going to slide this in like this and we're just going to give a couple little turns here just to lock it in place we're going to take our uh, crimpers and what we're going to do is we're going to crimp just the end not in the middle but you want to get the end where the wire is at and just give it a nice little squeeze that way it don't come off and then it'll stay and you're going to take the your uh, inline fuse and you're going to do the same thing you're going to stick the end down in here and we're just going to twist it down in just to kind of lock it in place and then we're going to take our crimpers again and we're going to crimp this side again not in the middle you want to get where the wire is at because you want to lock that wire in place and that little metal tube that's inside of your crimping is actually going to allow it to uh, conduct electricity across it so after we do that as you can tell nice and tight pull on both ends not coming off so we're going to take our little micro torch here we're going to get it lit if we can there we go get a nice little flame and what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly go over this and you'll see it start to adhere to the wire. It's just heat shrink. And we're going to get this nice and cooked down here. You don't want to hold it one spot too long because if you do that, what it's going to do is it's going to burn. And you don't want it to burn because if it burns, it'll put little micro holes in there and then uh, it'll allow moisture and debris and whatever else dirt get up in there and cause all kinds of corrosion so as you can see it just melts it down and adheres it to the wires you know don't mind the burning plastic smell a little bit if you do this because you're going to have that and then what we're going to do next we're going to take these two little ends that we're going to have uh, attached to the battery and we're going to put one on the negative side and we're going to put one on the positive side and it's just same same or ordeal you know we're going to um, we're going to get this up in there, just like this, just slide the wire through, and then we're going to take our crimpers again, and, uh, we're just going to crimp it down nice and tight like this, <clears throat> get a nice little squeeze on it, see, not coming off, and, uh, we're going to take our strippers. And we're going to strip this uh, negative side a little bit more. We want some more of that wire exposed and twist it up just like we did before. Take the other connector here. We're going to slide it through. And then uh, we're going to do the same thing with our crimpers. Squeeze it down nice and tight. <clears throat> that way it doesn't go nowhere. Give it a nice little tug. Make sure it's uh, in there firm. Going to light our torch again. And then this two here is just heat shrink that. You know, we're going to 
get this to adhere to the, the wire. And we're going to do that with both of these uh, connectors. We're going to heat them down. So, uh, alright guys, so I got this all melted down. Got the um, little end connectors here on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of electrical tape here. If I can get it open. And uh, I just like to secure the ends a little bit more. Um, even though those do create a pretty solid um, connection there. I do like to uh, always put a little bit of extra black tape on uh, the connectors you add on because I just like to keep all that extra, you know, moisture and everything else and dirt and whatever out of it. I don't want it to get in there and create problems when I'm on the water. Definitely don't want to be out in the water whenever I uh, lose the electronics because that's not a good time. I mean, you can fish without fish finders and all that, but it makes it a lot easier when you can find a fish. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep wrapping this around, just, you know, secure everything down, uh, get all the openings covered up, all that, just rip a little bit off there, and then last one is this little blue connector. Just going to go around and put some tape on it, make it look all pretty. down there you go guys there's the three connectors all tied up and then there's the inline fuse on the power cable so uh yeah pretty quick and easy you can have this done in just a matter of a couple minutes um anybody can do it all you really need is uh just some wire strippers and some crimpers i mean you can pick them up these were, <laughs> these were maybe uh i don't know five bucks or something like that um I mean, you can pick them up at anywhere, Walmart, Dollar General, anywhere. So, all right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I told you I'd be back to, to do this. Um, I'm going to go and power this up and go play with it and see uh, see what I can do here from the kitchen table. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next.